हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक वेब डाइन प्रो अब एप एंड वी आर कवरिंग ऑब्जेक्ट वैल्यू सेलेक्टर एज ए पार्ट ऑफ कंपोनेंट यूसेज एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव डन द होल लॉजिक we have written the logic from phase 0 to phase 3 now what we will do i will simply put the break point starting from the phase 0 itself and we will understand each and every phase in the debugging mode so if some confusion is there in any of the previous videos of obvious it will be automatically cleared so this is all about the conclusion video of object value selector so what i will do i will simply put a break point on to that phase indicator parameter this is our phase indicator parameter i am going for external break point now i will simply go for test i will log in now whenever i will click on to this f4 button yes obvious search help will trigger and firstly system will go for phase 0 now if i will check the value of this parameter phase indicator it is 0 it means first condition is true so it means this particular logic will execute now with the help of this logic we are simply simply going for text we are providing the labels with the help of phase 0 and you all know we covered this internal table is for screen position label this internal table is for list position label your selection list labels now you can see if this logic will execute we have one record into this internal table lt underscore label text and we have three records into this lt underscore column text as of now this lt column text has zero records whenever this logic will execute lt column text internal table has three records suppose if i am executing this logic now if i will simply simply executing this logic so now you can see we have two internal tables first internal table has one record it means for er dat the label will be date and for this vt vb eln this is the label vk org this is the label vtw eg this is the label this is your selection list or list position and this is our screen position this is our screen position now sap is simply simply calling the method set configuration and passing these two internal table it means these all configurations will be set i will simply go for f8 now again system will enter into the debugging mode and what is the value of now phase indicator now the phase indicator is 1 what is the purpose of phase 1 is to provide the default values now if i will go for phase 1 logic in the phase 1 you can simply simply see we are passing the value of that date to this particular value this is our date value you can see this is our date value and we are setting sap has simply provided a method set input structure and this particular value will be set now if i will go for f8 so now you can see this label is through your phase 0 this default value is through phase 1 whenever i will go for go button yes we will be able to see the labels of the selection list also whenever i will go for go button you all know phase 2 will trigger now now if i will go for phase 2 what is the purpose of phase 2 is for selection of data now you can see what is the value of phase indicator parameter it is 2 
So now this particular condition is true. Now first, SAP has written the logic and into this field symbol, into this field symbol, into this field symbol, this ER that column, we are getting the value of the date, whatever the default value we provided. This particular date we are passing as a input to the assistance class method. Now, whenever this date will go to assistance class method, we are fetching that data based upon that date and the records are coming into this internal table. And P output is the output parameter from this method. Now you can see in LT underscore select list, we have eight records and four column and SAP is simply calling the method to bind this internal table. This is our output table. Now you can see this is our output table. In the previous videos also, when I covered a step, I explained in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it is automatically getting cleared into this particular video. Now, whenever I will select a record, this record will return. It will apply because what is the purpose of phase three? Its purpose is to apply the result. Now I'm selecting a record. Suppose I'm selecting this record. You all know phase three will trigger. Now system will enter into the debugging mode. And what is the value of phase indicator? It is three. Now, whenever this condition is true, this logic will trigger. Now into this LS selection, we are getting the record. We are getting this is VBELN, this is VKORG, VTWEG, SPART. And you can see how we are binding. Yes. Now, what is our first attribute VBELN? But the value we are binding, 6. And you all know this attribute VBELN. Yes, we bind it with the screen layout, screen elements. Yes. So it will simply, simply display 6. Now you can see VKORG, we bind it, yes. Then we bind it VTWEG, yes. Then we bind SPART, this is the SPART. Now if I will do F8, you can see all values written. And this is our topic itself. We are clicking on to the F4 help of one column, one field, but we are able to populate multiple fields. That's why we are going for object value selector as we have a search help, but search help is dedicated for one input field only, but with the help of OVS, you can populate the multiple fields. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode, phase zero, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Firstly, phase zero, where we are simply going for the labels. Phase one, we are going for default values. Phase two is all about the selection of the data. And phase three is all about applying the result. If you know, yes, the documentation, if you are able to read the documentation clearly, it's very easy to just go for the code because SAP gave a very good documentation as well as the template of the code also. We just need to change that particular code. And we always have to perform these static steps. So this is all about our full topic of object value selector. Important topic because from the interview perspective, there are so many questions from this particular topic. So in the next videos, we'll simply go for our next component usage. And what is our next component usage? ALV. So we'll go for ALV in our next topic. So that's it in this video. Thank you.